Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment and today we're doing a wedding at Cape Horn Estates. We're over in Washington and this is going to be our ceremony location. Why don't you follow me? I'm going to take you over to where we're going to go later, which is the dinner area. And I talked to this client and they're like, no, it's okay. We have a dance floor. We're going to set you up over there. We don't need any extra speakers. And I was like, hey, from the planner, I need to see a layout. Let me see what you guys are working with. So I have the proper equipment to make sure everything is set up correctly and everybody can hear because nobody likes sitting through dinner when the speeches are too loud next to the grandparents table, which they always put next to the DJ booth. And then the head table is all the way across the room. Turn it up, turn it down at the same time. You all mean the world to us. It is so wonderful to see all of our friends and family here today. Our after a ceremony, we are going to put uh, a speaker here might run it across here, tape it around this walkway. Then we also have a speaker over there. This speaker is going to be facing this way to get all these people over here. We have our DJ booth that's all the way over there. And there's no way that we could pump the sound to the bride and groom to the head table. Many venues have a sound level. We can't turn that volume up hot. Hot, loud, not good. We want a nice, warm, low volume, clean sound. So that's why we're bringing in these extra speakers for this dinner area. A lot of weddings that we do, this is a very common setup where you'll have the reception inside, you'll have the ceremony in a different location, cocktail might be on the side of a building, and then you might have an area for dancing. We can accommodate any kind of sound setup and sound needs that you guys have, but we need to know what we're working with beforehand, whether that is a floor plan, which we require from our planners beforehand, or a site walkthrough. People always assume when you start a ceremony, we're gonna start with background music, but where are we gonna start at? Over at the ceremony site? Well, that depends. Just know wherever your location is, wherever shade is, that's where everybody's gonna huddle. Looks like we have a shaded area over here. Unless they shut those doors and lock those doors, I bet you people are gonna hang out there. So the best place to start music is where a shaded area is, because that's where everybody's gonna congregate. I wanna explain zoning of speakers and what this means. So we have two speakers that are set up for the dance party. Then we have two speakers over here for the dinner area. And people always think, hey, they're the same speakers. They're gonna have the same volume. No, this is why we zone speakers. Think of these as like restaurant cocktail speakers where it's gonna be on a lower level. So when it comes to speeches, everybody can hear correctly. And the background music is gonna be a nice low volume. Then when the dance party goes, we're gonna bring up the volume of the dance floor and then we can take these speakers and then we can turn them down. So the people that are sitting and not dancing still have a pleasant experience. So a lot of people think of a wedding as a small intimate gathering. Small and intimate could be 10 people or it can be 150 people. You have a little bit of wind and you're not gonna be able to hear anything. That's why it's super important to either have a wireless microphone or a lapel microphone because outside of the first two rows, people are gonna have a really hard time seeing you. There are many weddings that we do, I would probably say with my company about 40 to 50% a year where we're just providing sound support for the ceremony and our couples are having live music. So this is why it's important to not bypass this critical piece of your wedding because you want everybody to share it together. Why are we having a wedding? It's the coming together of the two families. This is your way of saying I love you to your friends and family in the whole world. We want to make sure that everybody can hear it clear because there's nothing worse than they get done. What did they say? We need to have proper microphones. Music is a big portion of it, but the microphones are really critical for a successful ceremony. There's many different segments to a wedding where you need an MC, whether you're having the DJ play the background music or you're having a live band. So for the ceremony, when the ceremony is about to start, we need to tell everybody to start gathering their things, quiet down, find their assigned seating if there is one, silence their cell phones and let everybody know that we are getting ready to start the ceremony. So that way when everybody lines up, like on a day like today, no shade, hot blizzarding heat. We want to make sure to come in here, get everything done, 
as quickly as, as possible in a nice timely fashion, not make people feel like they're rushed, but they don't want to be sitting in the seat. There's nothing worse than having somebody try to enjoy a ceremony and they're just miserable in the heat. So those are the things that a, a good wedding MC will jump on the microphone and do.